Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Dunlop. I miss working with you. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you're practicing safe social distancing. And I hope that you're staying inside as much as possible. Because we can't meet at school, I'm going to be taping a series of video lessons to help you uh, improve on your musicianship even though you are at home and can't be in my class. You can still practice. Now, if you don't have your instrument, you have to go around the school and get it. It's okay. These lessons will not be involving the instrument. Our first lesson is going to be about clefs. You play a treble clef instrument. Everybody say treble clef. Say it one more time, treble clef. Good. Now, if you remember at the beginning of the year and from recorder class, a staff has five lines. How many lines does a staff have? If you said five, you're correct. A staff also has four spaces. How many spaces does a staff have? If you said four, you're correct. Now, we need to figure out what the notes are on a treble clef staff. So first, we're going to start with the line notes. What are the line notes? Anytime we want to figure out how to count the notes or figure out what the notes are, we always start from the bottom and go to the top. We go bottom to top. Everyone say that. Bottom to top. Good. So let's start with the bottom one. This is the first line. What is this line, everybody? The first line. Good. Now say, now say it with me. We're going to go first line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Everyone say it with me. First line, second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. Good. So, the first line note is E, the second line note is G, the first line note is E, the second line note is G, the third line note is B, the fourth line note is D, and the fifth line note is F. Now let's say all of those. Ready? Go. E, G, B, D, F. Now some of you are probably thinking, how the heck am I supposed to remember all that? Here's something that will help. Everybody say, Every good burger deserves fries. Say that with me. Every good burger deserves fries. One more time, go. Every good burger deserves fries. Good, now do it one time without me. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. That was good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to say the letter. We're not going to say every good burger deserves fries anymore. We're just going to say the letter. Say the letters. Ready and go. E, G, B, D, F. Again. E, G, B, D, F. Now one time without me. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself another pat on the shoulder. Now we're going to move on to the space notes. Everyone say space notes. Now, space notes spell the word face, your body part. What note do they spell? Oh, sorry, what note? Sorry. Uh, what word do space notes spell again? Face, correct. Let's spell the word face. Ready? Go. F A C E. Again? F A C E. Good. So those are the space notes. Now try that without me. One more time. Good job. Give yourselves another pat on the shoulder. Now, here is the really neat thing. You can practice staff notes at home without a staff with you. You don't need a staff. If you can buy some manuscript paper, tell your parents you really want to get manuscript paper and they can get it for you, that's great. If not, you can use your hand. Everyone hold up your hand like this. You can use this hand to practice line notes and space notes. Hold it up. You remember this from recorder class. I taught this to you in recorder class. You can use your fingers for the line notes. So everybody say your line notes with me. E, G, B, D, F. One more time, without me. So, those are the line notes. Now, in between your fingers, those are the space notes. So, everybody spell the word face. F, A, C, E. Without me now. 
Good. So you can use your hand to practice the line notes and space notes on the staff. Here's another really neat thing. You can practice with somebody who lives with you. Maybe they're a guardian. Maybe they're a brother or a sister. They can quiz you. They can go, what's this note? And you could say, that's B. Or they could say, what's this note? And you could say, that's C. Next, we will go over instrument-specific notes. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Dun Dunlop again. Our next lesson is going to be about notes and how to identify notes on the staff. Your instrument is either clarinet or trumpet. And I put you two together because your notes are the same. Your fingerings are different, but fingerings is a different lesson, but your notes are the same. So in order to identify notes, one of the first things musicians need to understand how to do is identify key signature. Now, your first key signature is no sharps or flats. That's gonna change, but for now, all you need to know is your key signature is no sharps or flats. So you will not need to look for your key signature in this exercise. But probably starting next year, if you continue on, which hopefully you will, you will need to understand to look for the key signature. But right now, you don't need to. Your six notes are C, D, E, F, G, and A. And right there, that's your first note, that is C. C is on the ledger line. Everybody say ledger line C. Good. Now, the next note is below the staff D. Everyone say below the staff D. So, ledger line C, below the staff D. Now your next note is gonna be first line E. Everybody say first line E. Now your next note is first space F. Everyone say first space F. Now your next note is second line G. Everyone say second line G. So let's do it once, and we've done this before, so let's do it again. Ledger line C, below the line D, first line E, first space F, second line G. Good job, give yourselves a pat on the shoulder, that was good. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to identify the notes after I show you the process. So, everybody look at this note, what you're gonna do is you're going to say, is this a line note? Is this a space note? Or is this a below the line or space note? So the first note there, that note, that's a weird one, that's on the ledger line. And I know that note's on the ledger line. Where is it class? It is on the ledger line, good. So, since that note is on the ledger line, I know that note is C. Let's do one more. So let's follow the process again. Is it a line note or is it a space note? It's a line note. Now what line is it on? It's on the first line. So I know that note is E. Okay, let's do one more. So that note is on, is it a line or a space note? It's a space note and it's on the first space so we know that note is F. Let's do some by yourself now. I'm just gonna ask you what the note is and then I'll show you the answer after I gave you some time to think about it. What is that note, ladies and gentlemen? Think about the process we used. So, that note's on the ledger line and the ledger line is C. If you said C, congratulations. If you didn't, we'll keep practicing. Same process, what is that note? So that note is on the first line, and we know the first line is E. What's that note? Okay, so it's below the line, not on a ledger line, so we know that note is D. Next note, what is that note? So that note is on the second line, and using every good burger deserves fries, Every good, second line is G. So if you said G, you are correct. Okay, so this is the newest one. Think about what that note is. What note is it on? Is it a line note? Is it a space note? What line or space is it on? Think about it, what is that note? 
And that note is on the second space, and we know the second space is A. What is that note, ladies and gentlemen? And it's on the first space, so that note is F. What's that note? Oh, got second space again. And that is A. What's that note? So it's on the first space, so it is F. Okay, what's that note? It's below the line, so it is D. What's that note? It's on the first line, so it is E. What's that note? And it's on the ledger line, and remember the ledger line is C. What is that note? So it's below the staff, not on the ledger line, so it is D. What is that note? It's on the first space, so that is F. What is that note? Ledger line C. What is that note? First space F. What's that note? Ledger line C. What's that note? First line E. What's that note? Second line G. That note? What's that note? First space F. And that note. Below the staff, not a ledger line, it is D. That note. What is that note? And that is first space F. What's that note? Ledger line C. What is that note? Second space F, uh, excuse me, that's wrong. Second space A. What's that note? Ledger line C. That note? Second line G. And that note? What is that note? First line E. What is that note? First space F. What is that note? Second line G. And what is that note? First line E. And that note. Second space A. And that note. What's that note? Below the staff D. And that note. Ledger line C. That note. What's that note? Below the staff D. And that note. First space F. And what's that note? First line E. Ladies and gentlemen, if you got most of the notes or all the notes, good job. If not, you just need a little more practice, that's okay. If you want or need more practice, the link to this specific exercise is in the, the description box below. Your key signature is going to be before each note. What notes are flat in a, in a 
flute key signature. Signature that you're learning right now. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. I got, I got this. And seeing how many of you write your notes above your, um, write the names of your notes above the notes, then um, I'm not, I'm not going to say that. Okay. So that you can stop writing your freaking notes in your I'm just not going to say that. I get too confused. Yeah.